Oh, I would say about six months ago, I hit rock bottom, everybody. I was in a bad situation, had a tough choice ahead of me. What was I going to do? What would you do? I had to decide that right then and there. Was I going to go shulker box hunting? Or was I prepared to stick it out and wait for the update to come out? And then I could get them easily and just farm them. Ultimately, I chose the lazy option and waited. <laughs> so I've had very few shulker boxes the last uh, last little while in my Let's Play series here. And today we are going to head to the end and we are going to go do some shulker box hunting. That's what I want to do. I'm pretty excited about this actually. A couple things I want to try out with it. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, not so far. <laughs> we actually have to do some stuff here. Uh, okay, let's go through one of these portals. Actually, no, wait, first. First, everybody, let me tell you, just in case you don't know the story, right over here is the wall. So this is our end mapped out. The way I've been doing this is every time I go end city raiding, you can see the purple dots over there. Uh, I've mapped out the ends just so that I don't accidentally cover the same area twice, because that is very frustrating. If you're looking for end fortresses, and then you find one, and you're so excited, and then it's like, oh, I've been to this one already. <laughs> so each of these is about 2,000 by 2,000, and you can see I actually haven't done too much uh, raiding, honestly, <laughs> for uh, how much I play in the world here, and, uh, you know, you would expect more, but I just don't really like doing it too much. Part of the reason for that is I'm trying to keep my world small, but also, like, I do enjoy the End Fortress raiding. It's the flying around trying to find them part I don't really care for, though. And that's, like... You spend at least three times the, the amount of time looking for the fortress and actually raiding it, I find. <laughs> Which isn't the, the most exciting thing. Uh, but yeah, we found a, a new one over here. It's got guys inside. What we're going to try to do today is uh, play around with the whole farming thing. So I got him to hit himself there, but he did not uh, duplicate. I don't quite know how this mechanic works. But apparently if you can get them to shoot themselves, they have a chance of like duplicating and then they teleport. So what we got to do is get them to shoot themselves. Oh, it just happened. Yeah, shoot themselves when they're when they're opened up like that. If they're closed, I don't think it can happen. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit tricky, actually. <laughs> it seems like there's four conditions that have to be met for this. So, so one of them, the lid has to be open, as we discovered already. The other one is if they are at less than half their health, there's a 25% chance it's just going to fail. So you want them to be at full life. Uh, otherwise, they'll teleport without creating a new one. Third one is they'll, they have to teleport within a 17 by 17 by 17 area. And if that fails uh, four times, I believe, then uh, it just doesn't happen. <laughs> what, what if we do this? Uh, and the final one is each shulker box within like an eight block area lowers the chances by 20% for each one. So if you have five shulker boxes within eight blocks of each other, it's, it doesn't create any new ones. Putting them in boats seems like it might be a good idea. I'm, I'm just like in the thinking phase right now. How are we going to build our farm? Let's do a little bit of experimenting. And I decide let's actually just hop into a creative world here because it'll make it so much easier to test because shulkers are very difficult to control in survival. As you can see, they're not affected by slime blocks. My idea here was maybe let's put a snow golem to shoot at the guy. And... If this is extended, the snow golem can't see him, right? Shulker can't see the snow golem. But then when we retract it, I thought we would get him to shoot him. And then, like, slime block the projectile into the shulker. Get him to shoot himself that way. But it seems like the shulker shot doesn't bounce off the slime block. It just, uh... It just breaks it. So that's that's a no-go idea. Okay, so I just discovered another important thing here. Shulker boxes must be able to open without ramming into another shulker. Um, so if we do this, and they are both opening sideways, that is fine. Nothing wrong with that. If we have a guy going upwards, opening upwards like that, and the other guy above him. Oh, wait. I guess if there's a guy above him, he'll prefer to attach to the side. But if there's no option, if he must attach downwards, then he teleports. Water test. They don't like water. Lava test. Hey. Oh, no, never, never mind. Magma test. Oh, they're okay with magma. Now, I get this a lot where people want to see the behind the scenes. Like, how do you come up with your farm ideas? How do you come up with your redstone contraptions? 
And most of it is just a bunch of trial and error, testing things out. And then once you understand all the mechanics to how something works, you can start formulating a plan. They do not like Wither Roses. Uh-huh. So we're learning things here. <gasps> Darn it. <laughs> I thought maybe we could use the water to get him to shoot himself. Okay, so we got some weird stuff going on here. Water for sure does move the projectiles. We got a bubble column in front of us, and when the projectile goes into that, it gets launched upwards. I was trying to figure out a way we could get the shulker to see us without actually being able to shoot us. So I thought, yes, walls. Put some walls in front of him. He'll be able to see us through that, but his projectile won't be able to hit us, right? Well, <laughs> funny thing about these projectiles is normally they move block to block, but then sometimes they have like a super precision mode they go into. And they can actually sneak through things like that. Oh, he got him. And he got him. <laughs> Did not work at all. Oh man, we might be getting somewhere with this, so check it out. We got a trap door in from the snow golem, which we can turn on and off with redstone to turn our farm on and off. And we got an enchanting table there. It's just short enough where he can still hit the shulker. And then the only open side for the shulker to shoot is behind himself. And if it travels at least two blocks, he can hit himself. So as the projectile tries to go back to the snow golem, he hits himself. And you see the snow golem's focused on this guy. That's the one that actually was there before. So this new guy has full health again. And he reacquires a target on that guy. The new one. And we can have some way of killing the guys that teleport out outside the farm. The only issue... Well, there's a few of them. <laughs> uh, if the shulker hits himself too many times without actually duplicating, I think he can kill himself still. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. So we might need a healing station to keep the guy topped off if he fails too many times. Oh, snappers. Okay, it looks like we might actually have something that works here, believe it or not. So I've been doing some tweaking with this. I did add a healing station to it. So that's running at five snowballs at the moment. Basically, we're going to need some auto brewer to keep this thing filled up with instant health. Have to run it pretty quickly, though, because... The shulker does so much damage to itself. Um, regen potions weren't able to keep up. Has to be instant health or regen too maybe would work. But uh, not just regular regen. So we flip up the trap door there. Got rid of the enchanting table. Now this, the snow golem can see him a lot easier. Shoots a lot faster. And after the guy teleports out, there's like a five seconds before he acquires a new target again. He's looking at that guy over there. And then he switches to the new guy. Uh-huh. We'll need some way of dealing with the guys that teleport outside of there. Some way of killing them. Or maybe I'll just run around doing it. I don't know yet. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. It's working pretty good. I think it's a foolproof system now. Because if his health can't go below half, there's no way for him to teleport out of there. And there's no way for him to kill himself. So, I don't think it'll mess up. Right? Please? Oh, and you see that? So there is sometimes where the shot will actually go through the shulker, which is kind of weird. So we have this bubble column as a safety, so there's no way for him to actually hit the snow golem. Because it'll like launch it up to the roof and then it pops it. Cool, so I think we got our duplicator figured out. Now we move on to the collection and killing. Now, option A, we can just run around killing them ourselves, which is what we might end up doing. <laughs> but uh, it would be nice to come up with some automatic methods, right? So I noticed one thing here. If you have a minecart under a tripwire, uh, the tripwire doesn't detect that. But it will detect a shulker box in the minecart. So maybe we use that for something. Is one idea. Like this will bounce back and forth, right? And then when a shulker comes within a block of the track, guess what? We can detect that and then uh, send them off somewhere. Another option is we could set up a bunch of nether portals and they'll automatically teleport into the portal and end up in one spot in the nether, which I think is what a lot of people have been doing, but I kind of want to keep this all within one dimension if possible. So we might just do something like this. Have the uh, tracks two blocks apart from each other, and then as the minecart goes here, it's going to pick up the closest one to it. And then I had an idea of a way we can kill them then. So this will collect them all together, and... Ahaha! <laughs> so, shulkers will teleport out of uh, water, right? But if they're in a minecart, they're not able to. Ahaha! Uh -huh. So we can actually suffocate them this way. And then, after enough suffocation, they'll die. 
Their shulker shells will float up to the top of the water. Makes a cool sound. Looks awesome. <laughs> it's probably my favorite thing about it. Uh, and the minecarts will slowly sink down, so we could maybe use a tripwire to detect when uh, they're all gone or something, when they're all dead. And then trigger this. So this is a trick you can do with minecarts. They will actually teleport through a block, through a half slab. Uh, so if we switch this over, they'll actually teleport through that. And then ram them into a cactus and send them back to the start or something. The main issue with these shulkers is they're very difficult to kill. I think the water is the only thing I found that works. I thought this might work because he's kind of touching the lava, right? But uh, nope. Yeah, I always thought magma cubes were the hardest mob to kill in the game, but I think actually it's shulkers because like you can't suffocate them. You can't even anvil these guys. I've tried the dripstone. That didn't work. <laughs> it's like they're indestructible. They don't take fall damage. What are you supposed to do? Uh, TNT. Probably the other best option, but they are extremely tanky. Like that's a pretty small area it covers. Anyways, let's get back to the Let's Play world now. So we've done our research, we know what will work, what won't work, and kind of figured out the main pieces to making a farm that will actually function, right? Now, we did not actually build the farm. I didn't build it and test it out or anything. And usually I don't like to do that. I don't like to pre-build stuff in creative and like know exactly how it works. I like to do that in the episodes just because I think it makes, you know, things a bit more exciting. <laughs> I got to figure stuff out as we go still. Uh, I don't know the full picture just yet. And stuff can go wrong. Sometimes the stuff I build in the Let's Play episodes don't work as good as they could if I actually took time to refine the idea, right? But uh, overall, I think it's just better that way. So, we could, for example, let's start figuring this out. We could haul a shulker all the way to the overworld, and that would probably be the nicest thing. But from a practical standpoint, like if someone else wants to make a shulker farm, I think what I want to do with this one is... Just set it up right here. Like the most practical thing is we got the shulkers here already. <laughs> we got the end ship, right? It's uh, away from the land. We don't have to worry about them teleporting outside of uh, the area here. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> uh, we kind of got everything we need right here. So let's build it right here, you know? So I'm going to start bulldozing this and setting up our snow golem. I'm going to get rid of that guy right there. Yeah. I don't think we need him. We got two guys downstairs. Okay, this might be the toughest part. We're gonna try transfer them where we want them to be. So I'm gonna break them out of the boat. And they're right next to each other. So I'm gonna get one of them to move. And then we know he'll attach ooh, ooh, to a side of a block. So then we're free to break that and it'll stick to the side. I want him sitting on the dispenser we're gonna heal him with. And then we're free to break that. Okay. <laughs> and now we're just going to keep him enclosed so that he stops shooting me while I build the rest of the farm here. Awesome. Okay, so check it out. We got most of the boat bulldozed now and uh, just been using the bottom of it as a platform as I've been building the main unit here. So this is the most important part of the farm. We really don't want to mess this up. So I built it exactly like we built it in creative, piece to piece. Uh, we got some trap doors where the snow golem is, that's because it is possible for the shulker to teleport where the snow golem is. And then, uh, creates a bit of a problem. <laughs> but you know what I realized? Uh, we got a bit of a flaw here, actually, because we gotta make sure every single surface is, uh, teleport proof. That's gonna be the really annoying thing about this farm. So it's possible the shulker could teleport, like, right over there, above itself, and then not be in the right position, or... Uh, I think you could teleport along the face of that as well. So we want to prevent that from happening. We got to be careful as we do this that he doesn't uh, start shooting at us or shooting himself. And I'm going to put some buttons in there. So now he can't teleport in that space at all. And we're going to put one above him as well. But first, actually, just to be safe here, I did do a, a trip back to the base and grab some potions and stuff. Hopefully he, that reached him. <laughs> I don't know if it did. Um, I just want to make sure if he does shoot himself, I think he's getting low, that he doesn't kill himself, because, uh, it's going to be very difficult to get a new guy in that spot. And this isn't going to look the best, but we also got to make sure we buttonize the outside here, or make it so they can't teleport to the glass on the outside of the unit, because, again, they check eight blocks around themselves if there's any shulkers, and if they're sitting on the glass out here, it's going to lower the rates of our farm. So we got to teleport-proof everything here. 
and put some uh, trap doors on the bottom layer just so I can still walk. No, don't shoot him. No, stop it. The farm's not ready. Oh no, this is so stressful. I was trying to add an on-off switch for the, the hopper clock below. We got a hopper clock running down here. They group frenzy, it seems like, when they when they hit a target. All the shulkers in the area seem to go for that target. Oh man, yeah, this is tricky. I guess uh, we can't use moving redstone for our farm at all. I was going to send the signal down to the hopper clock here to turn the healing station on and off. But uh, like, if you think about it, I can protect it right now. I put end rods all around it. Nothing can teleport onto the block or underneath it. But once that retracts, there's going to be one spot where they can teleport on the bottom of the redstone block and there's nothing I can do about that <laughs> so we just we just can't use moving redstone we gotta think of something else here yeah so the trapdoor that uh, lets the snow golem shoot the shulker is right underneath that purple block we gotta keep that powered when the farm is off so we got a redstone torch there just for now and then it staircases down to the hopper clock keeps that powered so it's not running wasting potions when the farm is off right so once that line gets unpowered, the farm turns on, basically. Now, <laughs> this is the sneaky part. I should have just killed all the shulkers and left that one, because these guys are going to cause some problems now, I think. I gotta get, just get rid of them. But now this guy's frenzied. Yeah, he's shooting. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot yourself. How did I get hit? No, this is not the time. So if I get unlucky here, he's going to kill himself. <laughs> no! Dude. Uh, what do I do? I, I got to leave the area, I think. I just got to leave the area. Yeah, always get rid of all the shulkers. <laughs> this is so bad. I think if I leave the area, he loses target, and then he'll stop shooting. I hope. Otherwise, we got a big issue here. Please don't be dead. I don't know how I'm going to get another guy in there if it happens. Like, I'll probably have to do something with minecarts and, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Wait, did he create a new one? No, don't create new ones. No, that's just a regular shulker. Okay. I don't want to attack him because then this guy's going to get frenzied again, right? So I think what we... <gasps> wait, wait, wait. I don't know if they get frenzied if one guy just shoots at me. Doesn't look like it. This guy's not not shooting. But if I attack this guy up here, we're going to have that problem again. Oh, I got hit. So what I want to do is boat him. I mean the boat. No. <laughs> yeah, as long as I don't attack him, the other guy doesn't get mad at me. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to boat him out of here, get him off the platform with this guy. <laughs> and uh, now all the stray shulkers should be off of the boat there. Cool, so I think we got this main unit finished. This is what it's looking like. It's a bit uh, uh, pimply, a little bit measly, but I think it should work fine. We got the hopper clock down below there. I put slabs underneath it so nothing can uh, teleport on the bottom of anything we've built here. You can see even underneath here we got buttons and stuff, end rods, uh, just so that every single surface is covered and there's nowhere for them to teleport. Wait a second. Missed one. <laughs> Uh, so now, uh, the main thing that can probably wreck our farm is if it runs out of potions while it's running. Uh, then this guy will stop getting healed and he's gonna either kill himself or teleport out of there. So, we're adding a lock. So when this hopper runs out of potions, this torch turns on. And then we're gonna send the signal to our on-off switch for the farm here. And that'll keep the farm shut down. Okay, so now we got to figure out how and where we're going to build our platform for these guys to teleport to. And according to the Minecraft wiki, like we said before, they check an 8 block area around them when they duplicate. And every shulker in that area lowers the chance of it happening by 20%, which is a big deal. That means we want this guy to teleport outside of that 8 block range. It's also why we're buttoning everything so no shulkers will be within that 8 block range. So, he's there. One block, two blocks, three blocks. I think this is four, five, six, seven, eight. One more for good measure. I don't know. <laughs> I think over here is where we want our platform. If I didn't misunderstand anything here. And they can teleport up to 17 blocks if I understand right. So 
we might need to build multiple platforms is the other thing so when they teleport they try four times if they don't find a spot it fails which means the more area they have to teleport to the more likely it will succeed and the more likely when the shulker shoots himself he'll duplicate and the farm will run faster so i don't know if one platform is enough to make this run at the optimal rate i don't know if we're even going to aim for the optimal rate because this is single player and i don't really care about getting thousands of shulkers <laughs> i just need a few stacks you know oh snap okay my reading comprehension skills might not be the best i was like laying out the platform here and i was like there's no way they can teleport this big of an area right this is 17 block radius so i double checked the wiki and it says it's 17 by 17 by 17 centered on the shulker <laughs> which means diameter uh in other words I don't know if they're even going to be able to teleport that far up there because that's like at the ninth block and they might only be able to teleport eight blocks, which means they'll be within range of the 20% failure thing or whatever. I don't know. We, we just got to try this out and see what happens because I'm at the point where I'm not quite sure on a couple things. Now, this is where the farm is very likely to break. First time testing it. <laughs> we can only run it for a couple seconds here and we're going to run out of potions, but we'll see. What happens with this? Oh man, please don't die. Please don't die. See if anybody's appearing up here. Not looking good. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I think we should shut it down. Yeah, I think we gotta build the platform closer. Shut her down. Now he's going to keep shooting for a bit, I think. Hopefully he's got enough health where he doesn't kill himself. It is closed, right? Yeah, he keeps shooting for a while after he can't hit him. There, now he gave up. Okay, good. So, we didn't get anybody. Right? Yeah, nobody up here. And test number two. All right, so we lowered the platform here by a block. We filled it out. This is the full 17 by 17 area. And it should be on the very edge of the 17 cuboid target we need to reach here. So they should be able to teleport up there now. Uh, we got a couple things to check out first, just to make sure that actually happens. Check if this guy somehow can still kill himself. <laughs> we gotta check if... Uh... Oh, I heard a teleport. We gotta check if more than five guys can spawn up here. Or if they're preventing more from spawning. We gotta see the rates of this. So far, we only got one. So this guy's gonna be aiming at the snow golem, actually, which is interesting. Now I think you switched targets to me. Yep. <laughs> Move. Uh, uh, these shots, though, were at the snow golem. Did he die? Is he still there? He's still alive. Okay, that's good. Oh yeah, we gotta double check that the farm will actually shut down when it runs out of potions, because... Oh, we got another one. Okay, still got a few left there. But yeah, the rates aren't the greatest. We might need more platforms to increase the area. Okay, he's still shooting. Now he stopped. Okay, he's good. He's good. <laughs> so we got to build an auto brewer here. Yeah, it's auto potions. I think we should test that just a little bit longer before we commit on how we're going to do the platform and the auto brewer and all that stuff. So we got the lab running right now and we're going to just do one more manual refill. And good stuff. All right. So we got this topped off with potions. We can run it for a bit longer and see how things go here. But I want to try one more thing here. So I got to admit, I didn't know Shulker Frenzy was a thing before today even. <laughs> That's new to me. Uh, I'm wondering if those guys are far enough away where this guy down here doesn't get frenzied if I if I kill him. So I'm going to give him a hit. If he gets frenzied, I'm going to turn the farm on real quick so he doesn't take damage. Okay, we, we hit him. Is he mad? Yeah, he's mad. So the range is like insane. Did he kill the golem? The golem's dead. How? What? Alright, we got a new problem. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, it's just one of those things, you know, I left it running for over half an hour off camera and it never killed the golem. Not once. And then once you go and build it, it's like, hey, guess what? <laughs> uh, what are we going to do about that? So I think I want to get rid of this trap door. That's our on off normally. We're going to be moving that. Uh, can I break this safely? Yes. I'm going to put a solid block there and I think we want to lower the golem. So when this is closed... The golem can't see the shulker. He's going to be standing right here. 
when it's opened, he should be able to peek through that, I think. Golem tackle. <laughs> yes, got him. Yeah, I'm going to put a block above the trap door. That's going to be our new on-off. There. Okay. Should be fixed. <laughs> what a disaster. Uh, you know, I'm very happy, actually, though. I'm surprised this guy hasn't had any problems. Like, he hasn't teleported out of there. He hasn't died. I built it near the fortress here because I, I wanted some backups nearby because I thought for sure, like, if anything was to go wrong, it would be that guy disappearing on us, which might still happen. We'll see. But essentially what we've done here... Oh, I thought he, I thought he just teleported. <laughs> He's fine. He duplicated. What we've done is we've narrowed the gap there where the bullet can actually squeeze through. So now it should be nearly impossible, right? Like, it's really, really launching up now. Not even close to getting through that. I hope. <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, we got another duplication. So we got probably four or five guys up there now. I'm trying to see if we can get past the five point. Or is five the limit? Oh, he did make another one. Wait a second. I thought we were at the cap there. <gasps> it's still going. Okay, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna keep my distance though. I mean, we got up there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's still only five. I'm trying to see if it will go to six. Wait, was there six? I can't count. Three, four, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six up here. So I don't think these guys are within range where they're stopping spawns then. No, he's not in there. What happened? I leave him for a second. Oh, no. And the golem died. What? <laughs> Oh no, this is not working guys. So I'm guessing what happened there is the farm ran out of potions and then it like went into shutdown But he kept shooting like two or three more times after it was shut down like the, like they do it takes like five seconds for them to stop shooting Probably hit himself every single time and then just got unlucky with it <laughs> uh, And he He probably teleported up here or something. I don't know That's my guess. Here's my plan so I've got slabs underneath here, slabs above. What happens when we try to get him out of the boat now? It's too far for him to teleport up here. That's the only spot available. Will he go there? We'll find out if I can ever get down. <laughs> no, that's a slab. You can't you can't do that. That's cheating. <laughs> oh no. What? I didn't know they could do that. I've never seen that before. He's on a slab. Just floating there. What a guy. Oh, I missed. Oh, and he teleport. Wait, what? I think I checked that spot and there was a button there. Oh, I got the boat. Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, he broke the boat again. Yeah, okay. We got one. We got one. Let's drive quickly. No. Oh, he got killed. Got him. Go, 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 get away! No, got hit. Where is it? Where is it? Why are you taking damage? Ah, oh, I was so close. Okay, we're gonna swoop in. Swoop in. Grab. Yeah, okay. And zoom. Get out of here quick. No, he's getting hit. Oh, man. We can make it. Just me and you, buddy. Yes, okay, we got a second try with this. Okay, he's out. Let's see where this one goes. What are you gonna do now? <laughs> oh, don't shoot each other. They will not. Oh, we got him. Yes, it worked. What? Oh, he teleported to the shulker, and I think he went up to the top there. All right, we had a bit of a hiccup there, but we got the guy back inside, and it wasn't actually all that difficult. So as long as we just, like, bring a shulker down here and like break him out of a boat or a minecart then uh will he be forced to go in there so that's not too too big of an issue uh we're gonna move on with this <laughs> i haven't given up don't worry uh i don't know how to solve the golem dying problem i don't know what's causing it exactly we just gotta run the farm longer to see which means we should really need that auto brewer set up and stuff uh, but we're, what I'm working on right now is the collection system. So I think this is how we're going to do the track. Let's run it like this. And basically, we'll send a minecart down here. It'll go zip around. 
and be able to pick up from all these squares, I think. And then it will exit over here. I need to go down a layer if we want to add more layers. Or it's going to go into our water killing chamber, probably. Uh, what I'm trying to decide is, do I want to cover this? Because I don't like them shooting at me. <laughs> it's not that fun. Uh, we might like go up like that. And maybe a slab on top, like that. And like do a 17 by 17. They won't be able to teleport under this or above it. And then we could maybe have trap doors on the side here. I don't want them to be able to stick to anything, right? So we got to build out of stuff they can't stick to. So we might do something like, yeah, like this. That would have to go up three blocks, I guess. And then this will meet up with it here. Uh huh. Okay, I think this is a good improvement. So they shouldn't be able to shoot out of here randomly anymore like they were before. Uh, they were always trying to hit the snow golem after they would teleport and the shots were just like flying everywhere. All right, we got our collection system set up. Next comes the killing system for getting rid of the shulkers, collecting their drops. And I think I got a great idea now, actually. Uh, I thought about it some more. We're going to call this the conveyor of death. <laughs> Uh, I think this is a really clever idea, actually. So instead of doing a vertical water column that we drown them in and like having to bring them up and then drop them down into the water and like have redstone to control the timings on everything and all that stuff, I came up with an idea here that should be fully automatic, doesn't require redstone, takes very little space, it's horizontal instead of vertical, and uh, it is basically better in every way. <laughs> so that's the plan. Uh, I'm going to put up a glass wall here. Actually, we, we probably need more hoppers. So the idea is we're going to have hoppers under all these slabs. Where did we leave off? Right over there. Yeah. And then we will... Careful, I don't accidentally drop myself down there. <laughs> and we'll have like a big chain of hoppers going along the whole thing here. So those hoppers are going to pick up the shulker shells that drop. And we're going to have a nice window here for viewing the action. What we'll do is set up... Uh, what do we got to do here? We got to get a sign... Just to stop the water over at the end. We'll have one water source down here. This is going to travel, I think, five blocks. Yeah. And then we'll have one more at this end. This should go eight. Yeah, it'll overlap the other one there. And I think I want one more slab here. All right, here it comes. And it falls down. And it's going to glide along the water very slowly. And I timed this in creative. It's going to be just enough time where a shulker at full life will drown by the time it gets to the end of the conveyor of death here. And it kind of self-regulates the timings on the minecarts and everything. We're going to have a bunch of minecarts going through here. The shulkers will die. They'll drop their shells. The hoppers will pick them up. And then when it gets to the very end, it just continues on its cycle and picks up the next shulkers that uh, might spawn in the room there. All right? Does this work, please? There's a hopper at the very bottom there, too. Yeah, it's going to go and pick up another one if there are any. If there aren't, it doesn't matter. It'll it'll do the cycle anyway. So, unfortunately, I have spent a ton of time on this, and we're running out of time in the episode, so we need to think about wrapping up for today, which means we probably can't get around to making the auto brewer this episode. But I did go for another load to fill this up. We can test it out one more time here. I got a couple more on me if we need if we need more. Um, I'm going to put just four items in that hopper clock. That means the guy will heal faster. And hopefully that solves him teleporting out of their issue. Can't figure out the snow golem one just yet. Um, and we want to test all this other stuff we've built. So let's get it running. And hopefully things go smoothly here. <laughs> like, I don't get how he could shoot the snow golem, right? It's, am I crazy? It'd be impossible. But he did it somehow. Okay, he's hitting himself. Good stuff. Good stuff. And, and again, we might need more layers. I'm not sure. Because he hasn't created a single guy yet, I don't think. Let's go up there and just check what's going on. So I think this is going to be our spot where we are. Oh, there's a guy in there. Okay. He should get picked up. Yeah, he got picked up. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, and here he comes. And now we can watch him suffer. <laughs> Uh, he's not shooting. I wasn't sure if he was going to shoot or not when he was in there. It looks like he stopped shooting. That's good. Any more guys in there? 
Oh, yeah, here he goes. So he's starting to take suffocation damage. So it takes quite a bit of time. Like, he's got to be in the water a long time. And if we tried to do that with a vertical column of water, we would need, like, hundreds of blocks, probably, of, of vertical water. So he died there. And I don't think he dropped any shells, unfortunately. I'm kind of watching the bullets. Like, are they going to hit the minecart? It did hit the minecart. That'll be an issue if the minecarts break. Oh, there goes the other guy. Cool, cool. So yeah, the farm is working. We're just not getting great rates, unfortunately, which means we need more layers. And I don't really want to build more layers. Or else we got to spend a lot of time here. Uh, one or the other. How's our buddy doing here? He's still alive. Did he kill Golem Friend? Golem Friend's still alive? Golem... Oh, it must be out of potions. Yeah. So the automatic shutdown kicked in. That's good. Anyways, let's wrap up our episode with the comment of the day like we usually do. It says, Mr. Etho, question mark. Oh, he's not sure. Is it me? To answer your question, yes, it is me. What is your favorite plant slash type of plant? Oh, ho, ho, asking the real thought-provoking questions today. <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one. Uh, there's so many great plants, right? Every, every plant is a great plant. Once you learn more about it, they're all interesting. If I was to choose, if I had to choose types of plants, I would probably go with trees. Trees are big. Trees are complicated. Trees are awesome, right? They give shade. They give fruit. What's not to love about trees? <laughs> uh, as far as specific plants, if I was to choose one, I think I would go for the Venus flytrap, just instinctively. Carnivorous plants, you know? How many of those are there? There's actually a few, but uh, it, it's cool. It, like... If you touch one of them, they'll like, close up on your finger. They have like sensory organs when you touch them. They they move, which is pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Another one that comes to mind is <laughs> the nature's troll. The tumbleweed, right? That's a pretty cool plant. It like zips along highways. It uh, piles up next to people's houses and sometimes catches fire and burns your house down. <laughs> it's like nature's troll. Uh, it's great. Um, maybe there's a plant out there that actually responds to music. It'll, like, dance. I don't know if any of you have seen videos on that. That's pretty neat. I saw a, another video on a plant that, uh, emits almost like a gasoline. And it can catch fire on hot days. Just, like, randomly it, it bursts into flames. <laughs> so, you know, there's some, there's some crazy stuff out there. It's hard to pick a favorite, though. There's so many, so many cool stuff. Uh, anyways, thanks for the question. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.